Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on David's PC channel. Today I want to show you a software called Space Sniffer, which is a program that visually shows you how large your files are and where they're located on your hard drive. It's a great tool and if you want to download it, just click on the link on which I will also put in the description below and let's jump straight into it. So basically what happens when you open your but when you open the software is you get a little window where you can choose which drive you'd like to open. Now for now we'll just stick to scanning the A drive and what you'll immediately see is you can see a little status bar in the top hand corner and for some reason it is taking a really long time. It's usually much quicker than that it might just be because I'm running something in the background. So as soon as you see ready you can see that your entire hard drive has been scanned and you'll immediately see that it shows you the different folders with their uh, corresponding size and name. Now let's say I want to know more about the folder called technology. I'll just double click on it. It will maximize it to the window. I can go grab another folder. It will again maximize that. And just like a normal Windows Explorer, you can simply press the back button to move back, well, the way you came. Now basically, this is not all it can do. Because, you know, it's pretty neat, but it's not even anywhere near its capabilities. So basically, one great thing to do immediately when you jump in is figure out, you know, how big is my drive actually? Because this is only the, the space that I filled up. So by clicking or by sh clicking on Show Free Space, you can immediately see that I have 100 gigabytes left, and I filled up the remainder of the 146, about 46 gigabytes. And that is a much more realistic representation. But now let's say I want to really categorize my files, figure out in what folder, in what folder I have which type of file. And that that's where the file classes come in very handy. So immediately immediately you'll see some slight changes in the colors of different files. So for example, red is a movie file and green are image files. Now you can't see a whole lot of detail because most of these are folders. But of course, Space Sniffer has a feature for that. By simply clicking on more detail, you can, on the entire screen, zoom in to continuous levels until you have basically zoomed into every single folder. So you can continue pressing that, although at some point there is no longer any point. So about two levels in from the default is about the sweet spot, in my opinion, where you can see a lot, and let's say you want to see more. Again, like I showed you before, you just double click and you can see this in full view. Now what is if you want your space sniffer to start up or start up with these configurations? Basically you just go on edit and configure and you can set these changes. So changes we've done so far is we've uh, shown the free space right here. So just check the little box here. We've also added two more detail levels. So we'll just hit the slider two times to the right which was all the way to 15 which is usually unnecessary. And these are all settings because you can set the zoom in animations, different behaviors, different looks as in the boxes. But in styles is where you want to go next. And hit over here to file classes and you can even change your own colors. Let's say I don't want my videos to be red. Let's say I want them to be, you know, a funny color. Then you can do that. But I'm just going to leave them at default. But then the way you change them so it, it automatically when you start up Space Sniffer, it goes to this view is by, in the little drop down menu here, choose file classes as the default view style. Hit OK and you're good to go. But now where this really comes in handy because you know it is a handy handy tool so far you can figure out how big your folders are and all of that. But let's say you are going into a frenzy of cleaning up your hard drive and you want to see how much space you can get on it. And the easiest way in my opinion to do this is to add a new view. You add a new view by simply hitting the new view up here and let's just say I'll grab the same drive again but for this let's say here we want more detail more viewable detail so we hit like two more detail levels and let's say over here we just want a visual representation so we'll actually go three detail levels back and make it slightly smaller because we don't have to see so much and make this bigger and now we can figure out, okay, so the biggest folder I have is called grade 10. Let's go over here, let's go into grade 10, 
and let's see, these are the really, really large files. And I could technically, let's see, this is the biggest file I have. So I can right click on it and delete it. Sorry, this is my Windows is in German, but Lushin is delete. I could delete it. I'm not going to do that because I still need the file. But just showing you guys how you can use this tool to easily clean up a hard drive. So I hope that I kind of was able to show you Space Sniffer a little bit. And it's a great tool. I highly encourage you to test it out whenever you have to figure out where you have your files at or if you have duplicates or anything like that. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and favorite the video if you enjoyed the content.